I'm doing is I'm mixing up the two colors that I'm going to use on our flames. And if you come over here and look in our can. And these are going to be your typical hot rod flames. These are basically the easiest flames that you can do. And everything that I'm showing you, you can do at home. So we're going to use orange and yellow. Now, of course, we're going to, the main color will be the yellow. So I'm going to use the orange, which is the highlight color. I'm going to use the yellow in my regular gun. And then we come on in here. And as we see, many are finally done taping off our flame. Now, what she did here, she went around all the edges, as you can see. And once we taped off the flames, because it's real hard, that's, I only took out part of the flame to show you out there what they're going to look like once they're pin striped. Once Minnie taped it off, she went ahead and cut all the rest of the crosses out that were overlapping because you don't want to paint over those. That's where your pin striping comes in. If you notice, she'll come down here, go like that. See what I'm saying? This one will get, you'll make your circle. This one will go under and over and everything else. So it's going to end right here. It looks kind of funny right now. But remember, keep in mind, this is a chrome grill under here. So it'll actually come out and out right here. And all this will be chrome. She went ahead and taped off the inside of the door jam. You look right in here. OK, that's very important because we don't want that to be all funky and splattered, especially when you got a gap. Blades on your car, you don't want to put thick coats of paint like you're painting a car. You want to put thin coats. Okay, the reason for that is you don't want a real thick edge on this when you after you pull all the tape off. That's going to make it harder to pinstripe and it's going to make it harder to clear coat. And when you go to color sand it, you're going to feel edges and lines and everything else. And it's going to feel like a sticker instead of paint. So, what we want to do. Okay, now, that was several coats of yellow that I put on there. I have my gun, okay, adjusted where it's about one third, uh, one third the volume that I would use spraying uh, the overall vehicle, okay? So it looks like I'm putting it on thick, but I'm actually putting it on very, very thin coats. And I got the pressure of the paint, I got the pressure down low and uh, so those come out really nice. The next thing you want to do is now we want to highlight all the edges. And that's what we're going to use our orange for. So what you want to do is go ahead and adjust your spray gun. OK, if you notice it's too high, we're going to adjust it way down, turn the air down like an airbrush, open up the paint. OK, and if you watch real close, Okay. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to find all my round curves here, and I'm going to go ahead and highlight those. We're going to keep our we're going to keep our pattern of our spray gun on the tape so it pushes out. And I'll, let me show you what what we do here. We start in the middle and we kind of uh, just like that. See. That's all it takes. We're going to start on the tape, move our way out. You want to keep them all nice and uniform. You don't want to. Okay. 
Okay. These are going to be very, very bright. It's going to make the car look very, very nice. Okay, then we're going to get our tip. Right here, our tip. We want those tips all dark. Get this tip here. Okay, we might put a little shadow here. Notice that all went away now. Yeah, it looks about the same. The very last thing I'm going to do, okay, the final step that I'm going to do to these is I'm going to take some gold pearl, okay? I'm going to mix it with my reducer, and I'm going to put a gold pearl coating on top of the flames. That way when the lights hit it, it's going to have a gold pearl effect. And all we're going to do is mix some reducer in there. So what I'll do to finish it out for tonight is I'm going to go ahead and spray my DBC 500 uh, Color Blender Intercoat Clear. And the way you mix that, what I'll do is I'll put two coats on there to seal everything up. Come back in the morning, pull all the tape off, pinstripe it, airbrush the final uh, details in it that I need, and it's ready for clear. All right. What we've done is we went ahead, we flamed out our car, we taped it all off, we showed you how to do all that, then he came back, we taped all the flames off with tape instead of frisket paper, and we showed you how to do that. I went ahead and painted the flames, I highlighted the tips on them, and we let it dry overnight. I put my uh, inner coat clear back on, as you see. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the tape off because we're gonna get ready to pinstripe these. We're gonna see what it looks like. So you wanna go ahead and pull your tape? Striped. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side of the car, and we'll take a good look at it. Let me get the other side cleaned up, get that door jam clean, get that side panel cleaned out a little bit, and uh, come back and check it out.